Coast LQ Views. Today, we're reviewing a beer by Hoppin' Frog Brewing Company. This is their Smashing Strawberry Blonde. Pretty cool looking can art. Picked this can up off the floor. I actually got two for $5.50 a can. It says ale with natural flavors added, 5.2% alcohol by volume. It's got a best buy date of August 8th, 2025. Today is November 10th, 2024. So still fresh. Uh, yeah. We're by Hop and Frog Brewing Company, and they're out of Akron, Ohio. And if you want to check them out, you can go to hopandfrog.com. It says crisp and refreshing with a splash of strawberry flavor to add a great taste and some fun. It's simply smashing. They do have a certified independent craft brewers association logo on the side there. That was good to see. Let's crack it open, pour it up, check it out. For the appearance, pour it into our fifth anniversary bone saw glass. Slight haze to it, it's a nice, uh, slightly hazy straw color. Lots of effervescence. We got a nice bone white finger and a half, tight knit head on top. Yeah, lots of bubbles, good amount of effervescence for sure. Holding some good retention on that head, looks solid. Nose. Ooh. It's like, um, best way I can describe it is like a strawberry jam or like a strawberry jelly. You get like some cereal grain sweetness as well. It's like a biscuity breadiness behind that. And maybe like a little bit of, um, some, uh, like a light floral kind of flowery aroma a little bit of um citrus in there as well like a little bit of lemon but yeah it smells nice and sweet maybe a touch of an acidity to it as well slightly tart it smells awesome let's try it out cheers pretty good not as sweet as the nose but you do kind of get like that natural strawberry flavor up front. Then you get like the cereal grain breadiness in between. It does have a slight tart finish. Um, maybe like a touch of um, maybe some grapefruit in there. Some a little bit more of like a um, kind of a drier citrusy finish to it. Very biscuity, bready, super crushable, 5.2%. This is like a perfect summertime beer, even though it's November. Uh, yeah, strawberry flavor is not offensive at all. It's not overly sweet. And like I said, it has that touch of tartness to it as well. Very drinkable. I'd say light mouthfeel, kind of going towards medium, but not at that medium yet. And then the carbonation is nice, about medium carbonation. I kind of would like it for uh, for it to be a little bit more spritzy, uh, but still solid for what it is for sure. Yeah, it's a really good beer. Super crushable. As far as the number, I can see myself drinking a few of these in a session. I'd give it like a 92. I really like it. I think it's a, a really good beer. Um... Yeah, sit poolside with a couple of these or a few of these. And uh, yeah, I think it would be very refreshing and relaxing. Excuse me. There's that carbonation. Uh, yeah, I'm going to recommend it. Five fifty for a can of this is a little spendy. I'm sure if you found this in the store, you probably get it for like 15 bucks a four pack, something around there. Um, but being able to try this is cool. Uh, that's what Tavor's for for me personally. Um, I pretty much just purchase stuff that I can't get in my area. Hop and Frog is not a company that I can get around here. So I'm going to continue to buy more of their stuff. And they also have a lot of like really nice barrel aged beers um, that I'm looking to looking forward to crack into that I purchased. I, I do have in the fridge. Um, but yeah, Hop and Frog, Smash a Strawberry Blonde, 92 out of 100. Totally recommend it. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else you guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my upcoming videos. Like a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.